The Conjuration School of Magic in Morrowind has spells that enable you to summon magical daedric weapons or armor pieces. These summoned items automatically become equipped, and when the spell expires, the bound item will disappear. There are multiple bound weapon spells like Bound Dagger, Bound Longbow, Bound Longsword, etc. Morrowind also offers bound armor spells like Bound Boots, Bound Helms, Bound Cuirass, among others. Bound items have the same stats as Daedric items. They are also weightless, and each has a built-in constant effect enchantment on it, which fortifies a skill or attribute related to that item. Let's take a look at these spells in action, shall we? All right. So, bound weapons, huh? <laughs> as, a, as a mage, I won't even think of using bound weapons or bo using bound armor. Because we are mage, right? We use the power of the ether. And why would you think about using lowly metal, you know? Why? But then, if you want to play as a battle mage, you know, use magic, use a short blade or a long sword, and use magic at the same time, then maybe bound weapons and bound armor kind of make sense. Uh, in this demo, I'll show you how to procure those bound armor and bound weapons. Few of them. And we'll try to use it. So let's pick up a few a bound weapon and a couple of bound armor spells from that fort over there. The Monmouth Fort. There is a Imperial Legion person there and she actually sells spells. She sells she sells a variety of spells. And uh, if you look at my inventory, bound. Nope, I don't even have a single bound weapon or bound armor spell. So let's go by then. You come to this large hall in the Moon Moth Legion Fort. Yeah, you have lots of vendors here, you know. If you want to sell stuff, you come here. Alright, ignore this guy. Go down here. It says Moon Mort Legion Fort Prison Towers. Go there. Ah, there she is. What's this about? Yo! Soluya Nukushis. What? What is your background? She see, she's a battle mage. <laughs> so she has a lot of bound spells. So if you look at spells, bound cuirass armor. This is a bound armor spell. Let's get that. Bound shield. Ooh, sounds interesting. And bound long sword. Let's get that. And I don't. If you want, you can try this. I'm not going to uh, waste my time with two handed weapons. Thank you so much, ma'am. Solia. Alright. Next, we go to Balmora and pick up a few more bound uh, bound weapon and bound armor spells. Go ahead, stranger. Okay, so jump please. Let's go to Balmora and pick up uh, a few more spells from the Mages Guild. Where else, right? Yeah, Mages Guild. The best source for spells. Look at this jump spell, man. It's an insane spell. <laughs> In a few seconds, we're here. Alright. So you go to Mrs. Guild and there's a person called Esther Dallin. Gotta go and meet her. She is right here. Welcome. If you wish to talk, it is really no trouble at all. You are so tall, Esther Dallin. Alright, spells. Alright, why not? Get bound boots. And bound dagger. And bound helmet. Bound longbow. Why the hell not? 
Okay, I have all the bounce spells now. So, let's see. Let's try to, let's cast a spell for bound boots, okay? Wow. And am I wearing a bound boot? Oh yeah. See, it it uh, it got it off my other boot, and it automatically equips the generated boot. And this spell is active for fifty-seven seconds. Okay. Let's also get the bound cuirass. Bound. Yeah, bound cuirass. Look at that. It equipped that too. So I have forty-one armor. And I also have a bound helmet. Let's get that too. <laughs> wow, looks insane. So if you see here, I'm equipping the bound helmet, a bound cuirass, and a bound boot. All of these have a constant effect enchantment, but the bound boots will increase your speed by 10 points. Okay? And your cuirass will increase your light armor, medium armor, heavy armor, and an armor. And your helmet will also increase the same, same skills. So now, Alisa is not a mage, she is now a warrior. Look at that. Holy crow. <laughs> I love it. And if you see, all of them are kind of active for like 40, for 60 seconds. So we have a lot of time. Now, let's cast Bound Longbow. Yeah, let's become an archer. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh, look at this bow, man. It's uh, equal to a Daedric bow. Wow, look at Eliza. With her bound longbow. Looks badass. Let's get a sword. Let's get a shield. Wow. But this... Elisa has become a badass now. Battle Mage. Unfortunately, even though these weapons buff your skills, right? For example, Long Blade skill is buffed to 10 points. So my Long Blade skill is so low at 5 points. Even if I start fighting with someone, I may not I may not be able to hit anybody. So let's try let's try that. We have time. Yeah, sure. Alright. Alright. Let's go for it, Alisa. You have 15 long blade skill. <laughs> oh. And another thing. Since these Weapons like the long sword don't weigh anything. It doesn't consume fatigue. So there's an advantage for a mage. If you're if you're a battle mage, you're fo focusing on magicka all the time. You're putting points in magicka as you level up, and you're ignoring fatigue. Bound weapons will really help. Oh man, I suck at it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's gone. Let's go. Love it. This is so difficult for Elisa because she is... Hardly put any points in, in long blade or light armor. Good block. Oh, block. Nice. Light armor skill increases to 9. Nice. So, this is one way of increasing this your skill, I guess. <laughs> Look at her walking. Hilarious, man. Alright. Bound helmet. Yeah, with this set, she's ready. 
This is great because it doesn't affect your fatigue when using these weapons. And uh, as a mage, you can keep dumping points in health and uh, magic up. I like it. It's not my playstyle because I, I always play as a pure mage. But uh, I'm sure many people will really enjoy using these bound spells. Playing as a battle mage. Looks really badass. And all of these weapons and armor that you get, these are uh, Daedric weapons, you know, so the highest quality. Let's cast the Bound Dagger. Let's get the Bound Dagger. Wow, looks nice. It's cool, right? Alright. So that's about it. Have you used the Bound spells? Have you used Bound weapons? What was attractive about using these weapons? I would love to know in the comments below. And I shall see you in the next one. We'll talk about uh, more conjuration spells. I think the last one is about summon. Yeah, the, the biggest aspect of conjuration is summon, right? I shall see you in the next one. It is interesting to note that there are several weapon and armor types that don't have a corresponding bound item, such as crossbows, pauldrons, and greaves. Since bound weapons are weightless, it costs no fatigue to swing them. This is particularly pronounced for bound battle axe due to the high weight of its non-bound equivalent. So that completes the overview of bound spells from the Conjuration School of Magic. I shall see you again in the next Morrowind spell video. May the divines watch over you.